In this video, I'm going to talk about solving a problem using the programming concepts we've looked at so far. Let's look at a problem where we want to calculate the exam grade. Our problem statement is, we want to write a program that will ask the score of each of the three tests and then calculate the average and show the result to the user. The first thing we want to do is analyze the problem. We want to look at what the inputs are to the problem. What is the data that we need from the user? What is the user providing for the program in order for us to run the program? So if we look at the problem, we see we're going to ask for three test scores. The input is each of the test scores. The next question we want to think about, what are the outputs? Well, let's look at the problem statement. We're going to calculate the average and show that result to the user. The output is what we're giving back to the user from the program. So in this case, what we want to output to the user is the average of those test scores. Now, we may have some prompts. For example, when we ask for the test score, we may say, please enter your first score, and that data is going to the user, that prompt, but we don't consider that our output. It's part of the interaction with the user. When we're asking for the outputs, what we want to focus on is the results that we're showing to the user. They could be intermediate of results, or it could be the end results, but what we're trying to produce from the program and give back to the user. That's our outputs. The last question we're going to ask ourselves is, what is the algorithm? Well, the algorithm are all the steps that you're going to take in order to solve the problem. So let's think about what we need to do to solve this problem. Well, we're trying to calculate the average of three scores. So really, the first thing that we need to do is to get those scores. How do we get a score in JavaScript? Well, the only way we've learned so far is the prompt. So we want to prompt for our test score number one. How many things does prompt return? Well, it really only t returns one value. So in order to get all three test scores, we could ask for three test scores in one prompt but that would be returned to us in a single string, and then we would have to process that string. So instead of worrying about processing the string to pull out the test scores, let's just prompt three separate times to get the test scores. So the first step is to prompt for test score one, then we're going to prompt for test score two, and lastly, we're going to prompt for test score three. The next thing in the problem statement is we want to calculate the average and show the results to the user. Well, how do we calculate the average? Well, we have to sum all the test scores. So that's our next step. We need to sum the test scores, and then we have to divide that sum by the number of test scores that we have. Well, this program is specifically asking for three test scores, so we can just divide the sum by three. Okay, so we've accomplished the goal of calculating the average, but we still need to show it to the user. The only way we know how to show things to the user right now is through the alert. So let's alert the average. These are the steps we need to take to solve this problem, and this is our algorithm. And I can save that as a .txt file because it's text. Now I have my algorithm to refer to. The slides have a copy of the inputs and the outputs for you, and also the algorithm. Uh, here it just showed the prompting in one step, otherwise it's the same. 